the film is very faithful to the script and to the story. There's lots of magical kind of special effecty things, but the play is about a wizardy person on an island who makes all these things happen. But the biggest change is that Prospero, who's a man, is now Prospera. That's Helen Mirren plays that part. When I first um, was asked to do it, I was like, oh. But then it, she told me that Chris Cooper, who is seriously my favourite actor in the world, I was going to be playing Antonio, so I, all my scenes were with Chris. But you did supplant your sister Prospera. True. And look how well my garments sit upon me. I'm Sebastian. It's quite fun when you look at a part in a different way. So I looked at Sebastian, and I actually kind of modelled him on um, Prince Andrew. Uh, by that I mean I kind of... I played him a little bit dim. So... <laughs> <laughs> don't know how to get around it. That's why, that's what I think. I mean, it's a bit sort of like, hmm. if he were that which now he's like, that's dead. Who am I? This is obedient steel. Three inches of it can lay to bed forever. People's perception of Shakespeare is that, oh, it's fuddy-duddy, or it's too complicated and difficult and archaic to understand. What's great about Julie's work? It's very exciting and alive. And with this one especially, because there's so much sort of magic in it, the special effects part are stunning and so I think yeah I think it is a, a sort of conscious decision to try and get more people to a, see this film but also to to think that Shakespeare is not a, a, this inaccessible difficult thing We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep.